Hey everyone, it's July 20th, 2022. I actually recorded this segment a few days ago. However, it was so hot, I didn't realize the condensation fogged up the screen, so we're reshooting it. Anyway, the main thing I want to talk to you about today is, as you may or may not know, uh, my family and I are trying to change this farm or make it more of a homestead atmosphere. And we already got the hunting and fishing going on, uh, but now we're trying to raise some animals and hear the goats behind me. Uh, you know, the goats are my wife's and kids project for the most part. I help out, obviously. Uh, but it's the chickens that I really wanted. And uh, if you've been paying attention, whether it's on YouTube or social media, uh, TikTok especially, uh, I've had several flocks of chickens uh, this summer. Sorry if you can hear my daughter uh, jumping on a trampoline behind, behind me, or behind the camera. But anyway, I've had several flocks of chickens. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've had a, a, a lot of failures when it comes to the chickens. Uh, you know, we had one uh, flock taken out, and unfortunately we had the other flock taken out. Uh, here's some video of uh, the two flocks that I had. Um, it is what it is. As you may be able to tell, it bro uh, broke down that green wire I had to reinforce the chicken wire, and then it pulled the chicken wire apart from the support beam. So I don't know what it was. I guess it's a raccoon, possibly a bobcat, because I have seen them uh, in our yard before. It's gonna be my guess. There's one of those two animals. Uh, my daughter is devastated, unfortunately. So I'm in the market for some more chickens and turkeys now, boys and girls. But it is what it is. It's part of living in the country. It is what it is. So here's my saw last video. And, uh, telling you about the turkeys and chickens that were killed but there is good news here on the farm we have replaced those chickens we went out and bought 10 and old papa rob couldn't resist and he went out and bought 13 for our litter so now we have 23 chickens so yeah we're still good on chickens um you know uh i'll reinforce that chicken coop out there and hopefully that will be a problem to get older Alright guys, I woke up early in the morning, do my chores like I normally do. Woke up, I got a coyote in my yard, so I tried to take care of it, it took off running. And I come out here with the chickens and it's devastating. Something got every single one. When I came out here, this was where they made entry and they barely they had it just enough like that and they were able to get through. I mean, they killed every single one. What's, aggravate, what's aggravating about this is, well, obviously I lost all my birds, and I'm, I'm pissed, to be honest with you. But, they have, an animal, I'm assuming the raccoon, has tried to get into this, I don't know, that I know of, five or more times, and I've yet to be able to get in. So I wasn't worried about it anymore. I'm like, they have failed, they can't get in. They figured it out, and they were able to get in, and I... It's twice my whole bird population has been decimated. I am so upset by it. Like, all I want is chickens and I can't keep them alive. I don't know. We, uh, we won't be getting chickens for a while. We're gonna get a better chicken coop, essentially. Uh, I'm gonna build one and there, yeah, we're done with this. This obviously is not working. This is very upsetting. Now that we got the sad news or bad news out of the way, uh, yeah, I've lost over 
20 chickens uh, all together. I think I'm around 30 or 40 chickens I've lost this year. Uh, I have lost uh, the eight ducks all together um, and four guineas. So yeah, uh, pretty uh, upset about that, frustrated about that. Um, you know, it's all been raccoons that I'm aware of. I did have a coyote in the yard one day. I'm pretty sure that I got to my two adult ducks that uh, I actually got from a friend. Um, pretty sure it was it. Um, the raccoons have been relocated. We'll just go with that. Um, but yeah, pretty frustrating. But there is good news on this. Uh, we are working on a new chicken coop. Uh, I'll give you uh, the not finished tour here in a second. And we have more chicks. Alrighty, we're in the shop now. Uh, so yeah, we have 19 chickens. Let's see, kind of huddle in there. I got them spooked. But yeah, we got 19 chicks. They're about a couple weeks old. We uh, ordered 15 from Hoover's Hatchery. They all survived. We got uh, three assortment packs. Um, we got the assorted brown egg layers, the assorted egg production layers, and the assorted silkies because my daughter wanted the ones with the goofy head. So yeah. And then we also bought four olive eggers from our local track, tracker supply. So now we have 19 chicks and six guineas and I still have 12 quail that I've actually kept alive and we're getting about two eggs a day right now. So yeah, it's we're getting somewhere finally with the homestead, hopefully with the chicks. Uh, we have a long ways to go. There's a lot of projects here that I want to do. All right, we're in the goat pen. So I, the old chicken coop or the makeshift chicken coop I had it was a lean-to in one of my storage buildings out here. Um, obviously, I thought it printed proof it. Obviously, I did not. So now we're building a from scratch chicken coop. Uh, the plans from these say the person that used them said they had 23 chickens in it. That's good because I have. 19 birds, I need plenty of space, but uh, I'll give you the unfinished tour of chicken coop. As you can probably see, the goat poop and the dirt in there, uh, the, <laughs> the goats have been enjoying this um, and been using it quite a bit, even though they have two other shelters that they can use, but oh well. But it comes with three roosting bars. It is from the platform. It is five foot tall, if I remember correctly, but it's on a 18 inch platform. And then it has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So five nesting boxes on both sides. Uh, that should be plenty enough since not all of them will be laying eggs. That and out of my 19 birds, I don't know how many are uh, females or females and males. So, yep, Smokey's using it. Eventually, Right here, I'll have a hole and there'll be a ramp right here. I'll have a chicken run right here. I'll have to extend the fence out for the goats, which the goat pen's still a work in progress as well. Like I said, it's been a few days. Sorry about the background noise on my AC. It's been a few days. I moved all the birds, the guineas, and the chickens to the outside brooder. Right now, I'm scaring them with talking, but. On the outside brooder, I'm gonna have them in here for a week or two and that should give me time to get the chicken coop done.